dados y bienvenidos de vuelta a New English Training, eh, episodio de hoy. 17. El consejo de la doctora. Estamos en los Final Ten. Sale y espera para a frente a la doctora. Después de dejar el informe médico sobre la mesa, la doctora va a examinarla. Y bien, ¿cómo se encuentra de un tiempo en esta, a esta parte? Me noto muy cansada. Bueno, eh, asegúrese de dormir bastante. Debería evitar la cafeína y el alcohol. Ah, y recomiendo alimentos saludables. Eso es importante para en un, está muy, muy importante para hacer. Gracias, seguiré su consejo. También les recomiendo comer alimentos saludables. Recomendar es recommend in para, para el ejercicio. Difícil. How have you been feeling recently? Recently. 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 How have you been feeling recently? Me odio esa palabra. I've been feeling. I've been feeling. I've been feeling. Really run down the lady. I've been feeling really run down lately. Vale. Make sure. Make sure to get plenty of sleep. To get plenty of sleep. Make sure you get plenty of sleep. Bien. You should avoid caffeine and alcohol. You should avoid caffeine and alcohol. Bien. Clave. I also recommend eating healthy food. I also recommend eating healthy food. This is an important time. This is an important time for you. This is an important time for you. Bien. I take your advice. Qué largo se hace. Reto. I also recommend eating healthy food. Vale. Superamos la pronunciación. Vamos al dictado. Esta es una de las típicas que me enseñaba mi profesora. ¿eh? De inglés en primero de bachiller. How have you been? Cada vez que oigo una frase de este tipo, me acuerdo de ella. Lately, perfecto. Make sure, es muy sencillo. Difícil. La cafeína y el alcohol. El alcohol. Vale. Ok, aquí estoy de vuelta. So, 
Vamos a empezar. Claro está, como he tenido que cortar, <coughs> tenemos que repetir. Vamos a tener muy... Really? Esto es muy sencillo. Vale. La próxima vez me lo pensaré antes de cortar. Difícil. Deberías evitar la cafeína. Y el alcohol. You should avoid and alcohol. Genial. Clave. I also recommend eating healthy food. Recommend. Healthy food. Sencillito, pues vamos a seguir. Un importante momento para usted. Rápido, bien. Ver que las I y las L son muy rápidas para mí. Vamos al reto. I also food. La misma desde antes. Ole. Listado, superado y al ritmo. Difícil. So, how have you been feeling recently? So, how have you been feeling recently? So, how have you been feeling recently? So, have you been feeling recently? So, have you been feeling recently? So, have you been feeling recently? I've been feeling really run down lately. 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 Ve, bien. Well, make sure you get plenty of sleep. 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 Bien, casi es nativo. You should avoid caffeine and alcohol. 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 Bien. Expresión clave. I also recommend eating healthy food. I also recommend eating healthy food. I also recommend eating healthy food. Ahí vamos. I also recommend eating healthy food. 
I also recommend eating healthy food. I also recommend eating healthy food. This is an important time for you. This is an important time for you. This is an important time for you. Important time for you. This is an important time for you. This is an important time for you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take your advice. Thank you. I'll take your advice. Thank you. I'll take your advice. No nos va a ir muy mal que digamos. Thank you. I'll take your advice. Thank you. I'll take your advice. Ven. Vamos al reto. Also, I also recommend eating healthy food. 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 Ole una. Pasamos al final. Yo I also recommend recommend eating recomendar algo. I recommend visiting the museum. Debería ser. Genial. Lo hemos superado. Y sumamos 5 minutos que hemos tardado en estas dos partes. Y en el próximo episodio los errores ocurren.